Yo. <laughs> Hold on a minute. No. It's more like it. Shout out Sergio Loco Pascal. Mark Robertson. How's it going? So yeah, we're gonna let's chop it up. Anyone wants to come inside, big up Gavin and talk about you know the latest and greatest. Ain't done this in a while. Today we're gonna talk about uh Ardi and Dembo. Um we're gonna talk about Boots Ennis, Cody Crowley, Terence Crawford, Madrimov, that whole card in Las Vegas for Riyadh season. Errol Spence, we're going to talk about Chris Bill and Smith, Richard Riappor, anything else you want to talk about, big up, Dre, Andre, come on, cuz, um, so yeah man, talk about quite a lot of things, any other things you guys want to talk about, we can get into that as well, um, you know what I mean, any boxing, if you want to talk about any MMA stuff as well, we can get into that, but obviously mainly boxing, because you know that's my uh, thing, been a while, doing the Instagram live um, hopefully get some interaction and stuff from you guys I'll put this out on the YouTube channel fight fan TV live make sure you subscribe to the channel watch any of the content on there you know what I mean and I've been I've been away for a bit for a few weeks so um, yeah I haven't put a episode out on the neutral corner for a while but gonna start doing some more content just talking in general Yes, shout out Silver Cuts, um, put out there because you know can't be leaving the channel dormant. You know what I mean. We gotta keep the content growing. So you know what I mean. Something if you want something done, you gotta do it yourself. So you, you know what I mean. Gotta get proactive. So I've got to start get, giving you guys more content. So that is what I will be doing going forward. So yeah, man. Shout outs. Anyone wants to jump on? Let me know. Just just uh, hit the request button, and we can talk about anything you want. Um, so yeah, first of all, um, condolences and rest in peace to Ardi De Silva and Dembo. He passed away uh, the other day. Uh, he fought Cuban Nesta Santana. He was age 27. He was in a coma for two weeks. The fight was in Miami. He's from Congo originally. He was training out in Las Vegas. Um, I got some news from people I know who know him. That he, he's been, you know, unfortunately he was knocked out in sparring quite a few times. But he was moving gyms. Um, so people didn't really catch on, you know. So he's moving gyms. So that's why he was still able to probably fight and stuff. Um, the board doesn't necessarily go, you know, will not necessarily always find things on your brain scan. So that's how he managed to fight. So unfortunately, yeah. He probably went into a fight with a concussion um, and he passed away, um, unfortunately. Yes, shout out Lex. Uh, Willie, no, Willie. Winner, I, Winner Icoca. Shout out to you too. Um, so yes, we're in the building. Um, so yeah, rest in peace to that brother. Rest in power. Um, you know, these things happen. Boxing's a serious game. It's a dangerous sport. Um, talking about African fighters as well. Yeah, I know some of you may have seen the video. Um, <laughs> Nigerian boxer Rashid Ido, he knocked out Basti Sami from Ghana in Accra, Ghana. And they, um, they, they, they awarded the fight as a technical draw. Now, I've heard the term you got to knock them out to get a draw, you know. Those who box and stuff and been around the scene know, but man, that, that literally happened. That was madness. I've never seen anything like that in my life. That was corruption. And I've heard that, you know, this happens quite a lot, not just in Africa, in quite a lot of states. If it is untelevised, you know, the non-televised shows, you know, especially back in the day before social media. But even now, if you don't have a phone camera, no one's going to ever know. So you can get away with all sorts. Do you know what I mean? And his, um, it's unfortunate. Uh, winner, Icoca, watch out for me. Next up. Oh, you're a boxer. Yeah, yeah, I see. Who'd you box for? Who'd you box for? I 
I see you got your hand raised in your profile pic. Yeah, man, who do you box for? If you want to come on and let people know about yourself briefly, then in um, what's it? Oh, hey, Islington. Okay. Yeah, my friend Reese Shigura used to box for them. John Ryder used to box for them as well, actually. As well, funny enough. Um, so yeah, if you want to come on and let people know a bit more about yourself, then yeah, I'd be more happy to more than happy to do so. So yeah, just uh, tap the I think it's the request button, something like that. Um, oh, yes, it's available. Um, so yeah, man, big ups. What what's your real name? Let the people know your real name, and I'll I'll give you a quick shout out on there. But yeah. Um, moving on, we've got Boots Ennis. He is fighting Cody Crowley in his first title defence uh, in June, July time in Philly. Um, he's having a homecoming. So, yeah, he hasn't fought in there in several years, something like that. Eddie Hearn's got him out straight away. He's saying, you know, he's happy to be at Matrim and stuff like that. He's going to get the activity straight away. And that's what he needs. You know, he's been out the ring for a while. PBC weren't getting him the fights he needed. So um, he, 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 he said he needed the activity. And it's good. You know, I've seen a few fighters now from PBC moving over to Matrim boxing. You know, you've got the likes of, well, Deontay Wilder is representing Matrim in the 5 versus 5. You've got, um, what's his name? Well, Boots Ennis. Um, you've got but Antoine Russell, he's come over. Um, there's one more. I can't think of the top of my head, but let us know in the comments section. And, um, yeah, you get a big ups on the next, next one. Um, so, yeah, we've got a few fighters now coming over to Matchroom. Matchroom's doing very well for themselves. Big up Eddie Hearn for that. And, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to this fight because Cody Crowley, he can fight. He reminds me, he's got that kind of, you know, white guy, but he's slick with it. Got skills, got moves. You know, kind of like Caleb Plant. So yeah, got to be on your p's and q's. It's gonna be hard to nail him down, tag him for boots. You know, he's got the razz and madaz. Um, he's like a Terrence Crawford, but a bit more razzle dazzle with it. Um, so yeah, yeah that would be a good fight. I'm looking forward to that. Um, we've got Emanta Stanionis. He's out. Um, he's finally out. Out. you know he was getting messed around for about a whole year from um virgil ortiz but virgil ortiz his thing was medical he was like literally going to the hospitals and stuff like that um he just had a nice first round win over thomas delorme obviously boots and he did the same thing but boots was via headshot ortiz was via a body shot um and i'm looking forward to this uh virgil ortiz's next fight against tim Zhu. That's going to be blood and guts. I'm looking forward to that. That could be a fight of the year contender. So that will be on the Terence Crawford versus Israel Madrimov card um, on August the 8th. No, August the 3rd, sorry. Shout out Bo Tarista. Um, so yeah, that will be on August the 3rd at the BMO Stadium in Los Angeles. Uh, part of Riyadh season, but they're doing a show in Los Angeles. I know they've got a show coming up for Riyadh season in Wembley Stadium in August. For I know Anthony Joshua is set to be the headline act on that card, so I'm sure we'll hear more about that in the next um, up and coming weeks or months. You know, we've got quite a busy schedule coming up. We've got um, Tyson Fury versus Alexander Usyk on June the 18th, I believe. Yep, uh, in Riyadh. Then we have the five versus five, and topped off with Arta Baturbia versus Dimitri Bivol on June the 1st. In between that, and um, uh, we've got Tyler Denny versus Felix Cash on June the 22nd in Birmingham at the World Resorts Arena. Yeah, World Resorts Arena. I should be there for that one. You know, I've got to support my guy, Tyler Denny. It's a big up to him. Hold on a minute. Hold on, guys. 
Why is he not letting you come in? Like? Yeah. Yo. Yo. I can't see you. What? He said I'm that dark. No. No. It's I'm on my end. <laughs> can you see? You still got... Can you see both of us? Yeah. Okay. For some reason, I can't see you on my thing. I don't know. I haven't done this in a while. What? How's it going? Maybe you've taken off. Maybe you've hidden the camera or something. Nah. What's happened? Can you, but I can hear you. Can you see me now? Nah. What about now? No, it's just got me. Literally, just one me on the screen. Oh, okay. For some I, reason. I don't know, mate. I don't know. I don't know what you. But yes, yeah, I, I, I see. Um, I see you talking about your your your, your Jamaican brother Tyler Denny. Nah, he's he's Bayesian. Oh, sorry. Defamation, sorry. Oh, he's, I feel he's Jamaican. No, no, no. He's he reps Barbados, Where man. Where did I get that? Got what? From then? I don't know. Maybe because of his song, the Sean Paul song. Oh, okay, okay. So he comes back. He comes back to a Jamaican song, "The Woman I Want No Bait." But um, yeah, man, he's he's Bayesian. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that that's a um that's a serious fight. That is. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to that one. Have you have you got? Well, I should ask you, you first. Who, who have you got for that one? <laughs> hey, boy. Uh, but I, I'll keep her back. I'll keep her back. But to be honest, this would probably be the best time to get Phoenix Cash. Um, yeah. He ain't, he ain't really been um, active, and Tyler has been. So um, I think that would work in his favour. So if I am going to, I'll, I'll, I'll go Tyler Denny just because he's been more active. And but if it was like, like they both were active, I'll go Felix Cash. But just I'll, I'm edging, I'm edging Tyler Denny. I'm edging Tyler Denny. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. That, uh, Aisha Free that uh, we met her at. Um, well, I know her through my boy Josh. Maybe we met her at the press conference. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'll big up. Yeah, 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 yeah. My my, my sister, my yeah. Bloom sister. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, man. Um, yeah, I'm I'm going with Tyler Denny. I'm rooting for. Is that is that where Tyler? Is that is 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 that because you think he's gonna win, or is it because that's your guy? No, I think he's gonna win. I've said for when it when I when it was um originally announced, even though it was fake news back then, I was told it was fake news yeah. by Frank Smith, but um. It obviously was in the works, but maybe things just hadn't been finalised or something. Yeah. But I'd always said, uh, Tyler, I said, I've always said that if this was like two, three years ago, then yeah, Felix Cash would, I'd expect Cash to smoke Tyler. But in the last 18 months or whatever, Felix, he's been off the rails. He's not been active. He got dropped twice by uh, that non-puncher and a point deducted, even though he still won wide. Mm -hmm. um, down at the Ali Pali. Um, he's been, he got cut in that fight. He got cut in his last fight, which was an eight rounder against uh, the guy I don't even know his name. Um, and we know that Tyler Denny, he's able to cut guys. He's, he's good at cutting guys. Like he cut um, River Wilson bent, even though they scored it a technical draw, even though on the replay on Channel 5, it, they mm -hmm. showed that it was done by a punch. Um, that's why he managed to get the rematch and then just punch him up and get the win. Mm -hmm. and, um, he cut the European champion last time out. That's where he finally got his first stoppage. So, yeah, I expect him to cut Felix Cash in there. Probably won't stop him via a cut, but I expect him to win on points with his work rate. Um, I don't think Felix Cash lives the life, and I don't think one training camp with Adam Booth's going to be enough. Why, why do you think to... he lives the life? I don't think he lives yeah, the life. I said, oh, why don't you think, what's the, where's that come from? Um, just through my, my my information that I've seen and, and and I've seen him training I've seen I've seen how his EBAs um bits and bobs and plus I know I know some things about Obviously, I, his I know out, he's he's outside no, yeah I know he had a, a lot of um like pulling out of uh fights last minute and on uh, on um fight week and stuff like that so I don't think he, I don't I don't know now but I know in the uh in the Recently, his head hasn't been in the game. Yeah, yeah, but, but the reason why he's pulling out of fights, there was a reason, and it's because he wasn't living the life. Mm. He wasn't living the life. He's going on, you know, you know. I'm not going to. He's going on benders and living, doing wild stuff, isn't it? He's doing the wild stuff, you know. He's from, 
you know the traveling community and you know the, the the irish they do like a drink they you know and he 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 was on a wild one and i think that i don't think he lives a life and tyler seems like a consummate professional um doesn't have all he's actually quite skilled he's more skilled than people, some people, people give, give him credit for credit for yeah, yeah, but say, yeah, yeah. lives the life he, he's out i see him out training um abroad you know doing his runs he's getting it in he's getting the work in and he's putting the work in and i believe that hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard mm. um and for all the, the you know cash he, he has you know he does have strength and stuff but when you you know take advantage of of it and mash up your body it's hard to come back from and i think someone who's as hungry as tyler you know he's won that european title and he's in his in his in his, in his backyard as well in birmingham mm -hmm. in front of his fans he's got the he's got the momentum he's got the support so he's not the away fighter which normally you know really everyone would expect it to really be a felix cash or a felix cash show but tyler's coming over and i think he's i think he's going to get the w via points and i think he'll cut uh, Felix Cash along the way also. Mm. Obviously, um, Cash has um, teamed up with um, Adam Booth, Nasi. So yeah, um, he's been there since December. I see. Um, um, he's getting that working with um, Josh Kelly. Mm. Can I help him? Help him? That's good. Cause that's that's good sparring, that is. Yeah, it's good sparring. Josh Kelly's style is a bit different. Um, yeah, yeah, that too. Definitely. But it's. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good, good GB sparring. Um, but yeah, is that, that going to be enough? I, I'm not sure because you know, what's his name? Josh, Josh Kelly. He's 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 a lot smaller than Felix as well. Like, yeah, he's a light middleweight now, but he was a weight. Mm. Felix is a big middleweight, and I know how Felix spars. Felix likes to spar like it's real life, so um, it it might be a bit, be a bit rough, a bit too rough for. Uh, Okay. Josh in there, if he's not slick enough to move around the ring, you know what I mean. So, yeah, but yeah, it'll be, it'll be a good fight, and I'm I'm looking forward to it. No, I'm looking forward to that, that one as well. And I, I think it's a good name yeah. if Tyler Denny does win to have on his um resume. Yeah, yeah, on his resume and that. So yeah, um, actually, before before I move on, I want to go back to um, what happened to? Did you see what happened to your boy? Rashid Ido, man, when he was out in Accra, Ghana. What, um, the one that was, when we got robbed, or was... Yeah, he knocked out the Ghanaian brother. No, sorry, and, uh... sorry, sorry, I apologise. We, uh, allegedly, we done the robbing. No. Ghanaians done the robbing. No, we got robbed, sorry, I apologise. I've, I've, I've got it all wrong, I'm mad. Sorry. No, yeah, I, say, no, I, I said your boy got robbed. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, it was the worst robbery I've seen in boxing. But when you're doing fights in Africa, you come, you know, <laughs> you know what's, you know what's gonna go down. Like, come on, this is gonna be. They're gonna take this, this, this stuff to the next level. Like, they, you, stuff your eyes will see. You, you might even somebody might even get knocked down, knocked out. Sorry, and that guy could still lose, still win. Sorry, no, he knocked him out cold yeah gas mask everything recovery and they scored it a technical draw i was like you know in boxing yeah i was told from a kid ah oh, sometimes you go over to like fight these guys like reps and all that like these special clubs and they go oh yeah you gotta knock them out to get the draw like it's just a figure of speech, speech isn't it? yeah but I've, I've never seen Lit it in real life i was Literally. dying i was like i was like no this is mad this is actually ballistic what's going on here and like, you know it is as well it was not really a good look because you know we're trying to trying to get fights um boxing on the map in the continent of africa mm. and you know th this kind of stuff don't help man you know i think i think we need the excellency to step in and you know start putting on bills in africa man and because it's all it's all it's all it's all about this ain't it and corruption and stuff so i'm, I'm not surprised yeah. i'm not surprised at all man at yeah. all yeah i spoke to um prince patel because i said what what, what go on because <laughs> You know, I know he likes fighting out in yeah. Africa. And he was like, oh, yeah. Um, no, they've overturned the decision now. They, he said they only did it because they were scared of the crowd um, erupting and having a fight or something. I was like, what? So I said, you, you, judges and officials are getting intimidated by crowds to score a technical draw. I was like, come on, man. Yeah, but, it, but they can't free. Like, it's like it, it's it, they can't get intimidated 
It's like something has to have happened to you get intimidated, if that makes sense. Exactly. So <laughs> I'm not even sure about that. But all I'm saying is it doesn't look good because I've heard people saying, accusing guys like Prince Patel and Tony Banjo of, you know, having funny fights and mm. funny fights. Like, but I know he's trying to maybe clean that up, but it don't look good for African boxing. And anyone who goes out to Africa to have fights and win titles, it doesn't really look yeah, good. That, that, that's what I'm saying. It's not good. It doesn't really put African boxing in good stead, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, also, we've got Errol Spence. He's in um in, in the Dallas County Court mm. with uh, Derek James. Yeah, that's, that's surprising, you know. Yeah, that's, it's a very unfortunate. It's, it's very, but what, what's the... What's that should this, where does this issue stem from? That's what I want to know. The issue stems from the Terence Crawford fight where uh, he got a guaranteed 25 million. He ended up getting 30 mil because he probably got 5 mil off of the pay per views or whatever. Mm -hmm. So he got 25 million. So Derek James is saying, so he gave Derek James $350,000. Derek James is saying, we've, also, we've always been on a 10% deal. So I want 10%, which is 2.5 million. Mm. So Al Heyman has told Errol Spence 350 grand is more than enough. Um, so Errol feels he doesn't need to pay any more. Derek James is like, no, but we've always been on a 10% deal. So it has to, I want to my 10%. You can't try and lowball me now. Mm. Um, and you've paid me more in the past. And um, when they've gone to the court now, Derek James. Well, they've asked for receipts of um, previous payments, and there's no there's no documentation, uh, uh, no receipts. So there, you just can't be always accepting the brown paper bags or the duffel bags or the, the cash in hand. Yeah, See, cash in hands come back to bite, man. Man's mm. not, and man, and also remember, he's not he's not filing how much he's receiving because that's his wages, right? So there's oh, no that, there's no that, receipt. Yeah, yeah you're, you're saying, oh, my wage is this from him. So basically, from, uh, what's it, man down promotions. There's no there's no paper paperwork. trail. Yeah, but he's done that obviously to help himself to not paying Uncle Tom. You know what I mean? So <laughs> now yeah. now like it's come to bat you bat you us. Yeah. So now there ain't no proof. There was ever ten percent, so Errol can say he was on a, he was on any percent or or, or um, a set fee, and so Derek he's finished. He ain't he ain't gonna win this case, so he just been hold no, that three fifty. It's unfortunate, I, but what, I don't I I don't really like that because if you have a gentleman's agreement, you know, obviously at the end of the day this is business, isn't it? Mm. But I would like to believe Derek for he had a different relationship with Errol because he's had him since he's 15 years old. Yes. He's got a good relationship with his father, I'm assuming, because th those are the people that he first met up with before Errol. And, you know, he's just one of them ones that like, he just would have thought that they've got to the top of the mountain and everyone would just break bread fairly. Yeah. You know, yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. I, I, on the other note, well, three hundred and fifty thousand ain't a small change, but you gotta give a man what he's owed. Absolutely, and that is um, and I don't like that because it always seems to happen towards the end of someone's career. I, you know, Daryl, <laughs> he'll probably fight once or twice more, but the fighters always try to then penny pinch and 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 yeah. not guys you know, you know, at the end, like when Kel Brook uh, sat what's his name. Um, uh, in the Dominic Ingle for the Crawford fight, so he didn't have to give him the ten percent, and he could just give his mate a couple of grand. You know what I mean? It's always it's always unfortunate fighters tend to do that towards the end. You know, you've all, you've you've rid it out for how many years together? If you're saying fifteen, Errol's what 33, 34 now. Oh, That's like eighteen, nineteen years and then nineteen oh. years, basically nearly twenty years, good twenty years, basically. Yeah. And you're doing this to a man who took you from your debut. He, your first few fights, he probably didn't even take any money because it was so low. He, the trainers normally allow you on your first few fights because they know you, like, you, you literally got to use that to survive. Um, but you know, like, at the same time, we don't know what's happened 
what else has happened between closed behind closed doors. Like we don't know if everyone's giving them a bonus here or a bonus there. We we don't we actually don't know it. So we 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 kind of like know that like we know. I'm guessing like it's not like a summary of the situation of what's happening, but we don't know deep. Like they could have have been a thing. Errol could have given them one fifty one day, or you know what I'm saying, fifty thousand or this and that. We actually don't know in it, but. As it looks, it's not good on Errol, as it looks right now. Yeah. yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if he's giving him, you know, money here and there, helped him with the gym and helped him with this and that, uh, bits and bobs and stuff like that for his birthday, bought him this <laughs> and bought him that. But that's not the point because that's all yeah. outside. Yeah, if the, unless you're giving it to a man as a loan and then you take it off the mm. wages, mm. which you know that it's, it, Derek knows that's coming out of his wages, mm -hmm. then... Yeah, I, I don't think Errol's giving him, you know, what, 2.2 .2 million <laughs> over over the year. And he's like, yeah, well, you've you got 350 left, son. Where, where did this, um, Al Heyman, Al Heyman, like, how do you know Al Heyman was the one that told him that was enough? Is that what's going on? Yeah, through my sources. I remember Al Heyman's Errol's advisor. Yeah, yeah, you know he's an yeah. advisor for most of these guys. Mm -hmm. So he told him, um, yeah, 350 is more than enough. That's what uh, the word is on the canvas. So, you know, wait, don't don't get me twisted. It is a, a a nice ballpark figure. You know what I mean? Like, but at the same time, mm -hmm. it's like it's like yeah. If they, were, but at the same time, if there's no paperwork, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure it like it works both ways. You can you can like what, what's the word if if Errol found a loophole and he's and he's jumped right through it. Yeah, but, but it, maybe Errol didn't know he wasn't doing that, or maybe he did. You know, you know <laughs> what I'm saying so, like he said, it's always been ten percent, but at the same time, there's no paperwork. So how how do we how do we know it's always been ten percent? We're taking Derek James's word for it. Yeah, yeah. So like, and, that, and, and we're going by, and because we're going by the usual boxing percentage yeah. that a trainer gets is usually 10 percent it could have been a thing where Errol was just giving him 10 percent but he thought oh look 10 percent this one is a bit steep like uh, <laughs> yeah I like, yeah i want to I, I I keep my two million plus and that, that yeah. you, know, you know what i mean but i still compensate you and yeah because normally what happens with big fights the, the, yeah when you when you're going up the ranks it's always normally 10 percent. but then normally when you get to like world champion status and the big money starts going in then you change the terms and conditions and you start setting a fee uh, and this is what um fighters have told me over the years that they always once they get to you know the big money the 10 percent stops and you start getting a set fee because you know if you're getting the anti joshua if he's if he's getting 80 million you know what i mean giving uh, 8 million to your trainer then what you, you still got to pay yeah, the other guy is in your corner. Mm. You still got to pay the house fee. You still got to pay your tax, which is going to be what forty five percent. Yeah, you know I mean, so you 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 can't be giving eight million to the trainer. Yeah, you know I mean, you're going to get a set fee. You know, what I mean, you might give him eight hundred grand, which mm. is, which is which is very good. But, you know, what I mean, and remember the trainer. It ain't just Anthony Joshua that trainer's training. Mm. So he's got other fighters, and he'll keep. I remember he's he can still his his career is still going on when AJ's done. Mm. What the fighters also uh, realize that you know the the fighter's career is a lot shorter than a trainer's career. Shout out Brogan, the Devil Andre. Shout out Johnny Boy. Shout out Sajwan. Uh, what did you say? Just read Joshua fighting in September. Is it September or August? I don't know. Who, but I know it's Wembley Stadium. Who though? It's going to be the winner of out of um, out of Wilder and Zhang or Dubois and Hergovic. Anthony Joshua said, "The person who looks best in the victory, he'll fight them." Hey, I, like, I like this Justin Joshua. You know? yeah. <laughs> he's just on smoke. He don't even care. He don't even care what's going on no more. He just he's just out there. He just he just he just it's on he's on legacy now. Yeah, yeah, big up Henry. I see you play boy in the party. Come on. I oh, yeah, see yeah, you. Henry. He was, that, he was that girl. It was her birthday recently. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I see you, Henry. Come on, I see him weightlifting yeah. everything, push ups. Yeah, nah, I can't lie, he's in, sh he's in shape now, still. He's yeah, he's ready. <laughs> he's ready. I know, he I know he's got a top off today. Sun's out. <laughs> yeah, he's in shape, ready. Is it, is it, you see him doing that tense, that tense position. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. The biceps are looking serious. Yeah, I gotta give it to you. I gotta give it to you. Yeah, I like that idea of Joshua the bar. Yeah, if the, if the bar can come, go through, get through that, I mean, uh, Hergovic, then yeah, and it looks good. Looks good doing it. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, also, um, got Chris Bill and Smith. Announced first, Richard Riappo. Rematch. Uh, yep, number two at Selhurst Park on June the 15th. Uh, winner, I poker. People really want to see Joshua versus Dubois. Yeah, well, they want to see Joshua versus the best, innit? Obviously, remember, um, whoever he fights out of them two, I'm sure it's going to be for a vacant title because the Usyk well, Fury fight is gonna, you know, that'll be undisputed, and then one or two of the belts will go. So, Joshua, that Wembley fight is is set is set up for him to get a vacant strap. So he, whoever he fights, is so yeah, Dubois, Wilder, yeah. I, th you know, I thought yeah, the fight I would love to see is Zhang in China. Yeah, that'll do big pay per view over there for for Zhang. Mm, well, I think it'll do big pay per view everywhere. Yeah, but the time difference in it. You gotta remember the time difference. Oh yeah, that's the, that's definitely true. Yeah, right. that's yeah. True. mismatch. Yeah. In your opinion, why do you say it's a mismatch winner? Well, um, uh, what Joshua? Oh no, I won't go far as a mismatch, but I, I, I would definitely heavily favour Joshua. Yeah, he says it's a mismatch for some reason. I wouldn't say that. No, he's got, he's very capable. You see him in against Usyk, uh, the one he, he he held his own. Very, he's yeah, making he the one. Been the heavyweight champ. Yeah, he could have been heavyweight champ right there. Yeah. Shout out, you know, the real Zemi. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I definitely wouldn't say it's a mismatch. Nah, I, I'll say Joshua's definitely heavily the favorite, but mismatch now. Don't think then. He doesn't think Dubois has a dog in him. Well, he showed the dog in him last time out against well, Big Baby. Against Big Baby, definitely showed that dog in him. Definitely showed. No, you know it is. You can't. You can't say that. Everyone, every dog has their day, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think he's learned. Remember, he's young, yeah. so I think he's learned. And being with um, what's his name, Don Charles. I think Don Charles has got him mentally in the right place. Because remember, Don Charles is used to dealing with fighters who are. Ready to go into dark places like mm. Derek Chisora. War Chisora, you know what I mean? We know he, he's a man who goes out and he's killed. So I think he's managed to drill that into Dubois. And Dubois on it, man. He seen me last time out, he definitely showed the dog and um he got he got the win, man. And he got he done very well. So yeah, daddy. Daddy. yeah, man. He's the daddy, man. <laughs> and I got in there, that promo with a with a leather jacket. <laughs> Yeah, big up the bar. Death is fighting. I'm your daddy. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's that was, hilarious. That was funny still. Yeah, yeah. So then, yeah, we've got um on the undercard of Chris Billis Smith and Richard Apple, we've got Isaac Chamberlain. We didn't even talk uh, about that fight. We've been got distracted yeah. by the um, Joshua the bar. How do you yeah, see yeah, that? Yeah. How do you see that going? What the main event? Mm. Um, I don't know because Chris Bill and Smith, he's a dark horse, isn't it? Everyone tries to say, "Oh, he's done well to get a world title and this and that," but I think he he's effective. He's one of them kind of Carl Froch kind of guys where mm. you, skill wise, you're not thinking yeah. he's all that, but because yeah. he can take a dig, he can take a dig in the face. But because he gets hit a lot, people think he's rubbish. But the thing is, he he's able to take these digs. He's able to take punches. Which Richard and Lawrence can't take. If mm. if Lawrence and Rich and Riappo took the punches and the amount of punches that Chris Billy Smith took, they'd be they'd have been knocked out time ago. Mm. So, but but we people I, like it's true what Dan is saying. 
but you don't get judged for the punches you can take in the sport. And if you go into a gym and the trainer's telling you, get a shot off, take a shot to get a shot off, leave that gym straight away. Yeah. No, I don't advise taking punches, um, but it's, it's, good to ha it's good to know you got it in the locker. Mm. Um, but obviously Richard is more, is better at, you know, not getting hit, keeping his range. Lawrence, he, he, he is good, he's somewhat at it, but I feel he's too negative with it. He can't be so but, tentative because it's to his detriment, like last is, time out. Is Lawrence still in this mix, though, because he's moved up now? Um, yeah, because I can see someone like Riyad Poor um, going to Bridger, um, what's that thing? Bridger yeah. and Super Cruiser. Yeah, yeah I, I can see that fight happening there. So, yeah, but yeah, Chris Billersmith, he's improved a lot. Um, Richards improved as well from last time and it was a close fight. Um, I think it was the knockdown what kind yeah. of got Richard over the line. Yeah. And it was on the replay, it wasn't actually really a knockdown, but you know, he got the he got the count, he got the 10 8 round, mm. and that got him over the line. So, yeah, this would be a very good fight. Um, so yeah, I'm looking he's, forward to that one. He's saying that um, Bill and Smith is not going to see the final bell this time, so well, we'll see see because Chris Billis Smith he's never really been down from a punch officially mm. like from a punch um so but that's that's something we'll have to see um but yeah it, it's a good fight and I'm looking forward to, I'm looking forward to it for sure but yeah. also on the uh, it seems it's going to be the chief support is Isaac Chamberlain versus uh Slack um the Polish guy which I think is a good a good uh, smart move from Ben Shalom to Put this fight on because C Slack brings a lot of Polish fans. Because I remember I was in the O2 on a bank holiday Sunday mm. when he fought Lawrence Akoli, and he it was it was mainly his fans in the arena. Based the kid was there, so he can attest to this. It was mainly C Slack was fans that, in the crowd. That went the one where he came up, um, Joshua and um, and Asanya. Yeah, that one. Yeah, was that yeah. yeah that one. So um, went to the Burner Boy tune. <laughs> yeah, that one. So yeah, that's the black guy. He's got bare, um He's got a lot of Polish guys. So that will be good to fill up the um, the stadium with. I know they try. I know that we, uh, they was trying to get Yard and Boatsy on, on the card because you know then you have Reactor and Boatsy both affiliated with Crystal Palace. So you know that well, helped. They, I'm guessing them lot Yard and I. I don't. I don't think that would happen because I'm. They would be wanting to headline their sh the show, right? Mm, I don't think Boatsy really cares. I think Boatsy just wants to fight. Mm. And it could it could be it could be chief support co-main, um, and they, they, that fight it probably wouldn't sell the stadium because remember Chris Billow Smith is going to bring a. Lot of all them Bournemouth yeah. sporting boys because it's one train away. Mm. That's why it's good. It's a good location for Selhurst Park because it's it's um they just get the train straight to um East Croydon and then boom mm. straight across yeah. from Selhurst. So it's, yeah. it's an easy commute for the um, down the road and bam they're there basically. Or they could yeah. even walk. Yeah, yeah. So it's an easy commute for this for the Bournemouth lot. So that's why it was. It's actually smart, um, smart marketing on this one this time from Ben. I have got to give it to him on this one. So yeah, that that's that's good. And it's a good little away. It's a little away um, away game for the the Bournemouth mm. boys. Mm. So yeah, then you have the Crystal Palace lot. We haven't we haven't had um, a fight in as part before. So that would be good. And it's it's a good thing to do before the renovation start in the summer. It's gonna up it another 10,000 seats from 20, 25,000 to 34,000. That's then the work starting the summer and it'll be done. I think it's going to take about two years to complete. So yeah, so that'd be good. It's all good, good money towards the, the, the re refurb, renovation, sorry. Sajid, what's your thought on Adam Azim? You've got to spell his name right, Sajid, man. That's your fellow countryman. It's A-Z-I-M. Um, Adam Azim, Dalton Smith, potential fight. I think the Azim team is a bit scared of Smith. Um, what, what doesn't he have to get through thing first? Well, so let's talk about Adam. Well, yeah, he no, he's, got, through, um... fight. he's got to fight Harlem Eubank, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. I think they'll probably, yeah, they, yeah, 
I'm thinking, would they put that at Selhurst? Because Brighton as well, that's just one train away as well from Selhurst, to be fair. Yeah, if they're so, smart, they should. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, didn't they have the Brighton lot from um, what's his name, uh, Harlem? Yeah, so that could yeah that could work as well if you put them stick them on as well. Yeah. But um, yeah, you gotta get through Harlem first. Harlem ain't no joke. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Definitely not no joke. Yeah, so yeah, Dalton Smith's moving on. <laughs> he just had a world. He just had a win at world level. So I don't think um, turning back for like as Azim's like just he had a, he had a victory at European, but he hasn't fought no one on that kind of world level stage. I think Dalton Smith's last performance was it Cepeda. Yeah, Cepeda. Yeah. That was a um, that was a good victory, and that was a good an op- a good opponent as well. So yeah, I believe, I, yeah, yeah. I believe there's no that uh, that fight is if if b- b- if he does get through um, Harlem Eubank, maybe come a bit further down the line. Let's see where Zim goes. Yeah, because uh, Adam Zim he's uh, vacated the European title now anyway. So Dalton Smith's definitely not going to back go back and fight him for nothing because the whole point was um, Dalton Smith was the mandatory challenger so Dalton's probably going to fight for the vacant title now mm-hmm. and do what he wants do what he needs to do Adam is young um, it probably was a bit too soon to actually make it go for the European title but they probably thought you know it's a good accolade it was probably a, a weak or it, I think it was a vacant title so it was a weak opposition mm-hmm. at the time for him so it probably they probably thought it was a smart move, but then that's the thing. Once you're champion, you got to take on all comers. So yeah. they didn't think about that potential of Dalton Smith coming around and thinking, uh uh-uh, and then they realize, uh oh, maybe it's not the right time for him. But he he will do he do his thing. Um, just scared. I don't. It's just sometimes you got to be a bit smart with the fighters. If you know, you know, we we'd all pick heavily favor someone like Dalton Smith to win, and you don't want to, you know, get someone hurt and really their 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 confidence damaged uh, so early in their career mm. so sometimes it's just a bit smarter to just know your place yeah. vacate and and, and, go and it goes route. it goes both ways as well because you know like i think if azim was to beat smith that would look more worse on smith because uh, like i said i think he's a bit more further on along it, 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 i think it would do more damage to smith's career than if Smith beat Adam Azim. Yeah. Yeah, winner I Coca, he said he's kind of um go and say the same thing as us. He says, Don't think it's fear. Azim is still a baby in the game. Yeah, that's what I think. It's just, just too early. It's not it's not they're not in the same uh same places. Shout out to Darius Digits. Um Yeah, it's not the same places. Dalton's like twenty nine years old, so different different point in his career right mm. now. Um Isaac Chamberlain's uh, made a nice little comeback. Yeah, well, I wouldn't say comeback. He's cu- he's he's had a comeback. Um, his comeback started quite a while ago um, when he was back on Channel Five with Hennessy, and then he's had quite a few good fights. He's had Chris yeah. Billis Smith. Um, yeah, he's had the um, the uh, Macau La Wild fight. Um, British British Commonwealth champion. So yeah, he's had a good look. He's had a good run, and he's going back for the European title, which. He lost on points in a close decision to um, Chris Bill and Smith. So yeah, I think I think he can do it this time. It's a tough fight though because Sislak can fight. Mm-hmm. I've offered him, you know, I've reached out to him and his team. You know, um, I think I've got I've made a good proposal. I think would be very very beneficial to him. So yeah, hopefully we can make that happen. Um, back to work. For me, gents, great to see. Yeah, 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 man. I'm off today, so I just thought, yeah, let me just do a little something. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. For, um, no, for now. What, yeah, what, it's what, not. Any, uh, obviously, there's fights coming up. Any, anyone might well talk about fights gone. Where's Floyd though? I'm hearing Floyd's like, is everything all right with Floyd? I'm hearing he's captured in Saudis. He's like, what's going on? <laughs> That's, oh my gosh. That's rumors. Um I don't know. All I know for two guys who are millionaires, that bandwidth between them was terrible. Both of their connection was mad. <laughs> Boy, them <laughs> right. You can't have that much money between you both and your bandwidth. Well, I was is, about Bill and Floyd. Yeah. 
That, that, come it was, on. It was more Why? Bill, though. It was more Bill. It was Bill's one was atrocious. Yeah, Bill. Yeah, but Floyd's were much better. No, nah, Floyd. Like if okay, Bill's one was a three. Floyd was Floyd was a six. Like, yeah. But come on, that should be ten ten. Yeah, I don't know what was going on there. Yeah, that was terrible. But no, that was that was a hilarious exchange. Actually, yeah, can't we cannot um, leave before we talk about that. that. That was funny. What did what did you think about that? You no, know, it is. Uh, it, mm, what, I'm dis. I said, "Oh, Bill, man." I was like, "Bill, I didn't. I didn't think they'll get you like this, man. I didn't think they'll yeah. get you talking like you know when a man. You can just see that he he had to result to his street cred and re, and usually that's what the guys who how do I explain it? The guys that their street cred is known. You won't see them talking about it if that makes sense. And when he when he had to start res, uh, resulting to that, I said, "Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah you, you, they've got you, man." They've, you, yeah. Yes, I agree. And and it's normally a man who knows boxing wise they ain't quite it. So they try to mm. um overcompensate by talking about this alleged street cred. Mm. I remember there was a fighter, a heavyweight fighter. He was talking something like that to another heavyweight fighter on um on an on another platform about uh, their hundred and no in the streets, something like that. Wait, wait, uh, um, oh oh David Adelaide. Yeah, 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 yeah. To Fraser <laughs> Clark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was talking about that, the, the street cred and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, we, we, it's popping. Yeah, exactly. So it's not, it's not, it's not the streets. It's far from the streets. And yeah, but at the same time, um, but what's 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 Bill actually upset about? As upset with, upset about with Floyd. Obviously, Floyd did he give? Um, Ryan Garcia, that advice to come three pounds over. I don't think he did. I think Ryan's just making that up. Ryan, Ryan decided that himself. Ryan decided that after his uh, two fights ago, when when they got drained down to one thirty six, and obviously he's making how much money? Um, he's thinking one point five eight nothing, and plus he put two million on himself to get 20 million so he's thinking well really in the grand scheme if i bet on myself and i'm three pounds over yeah. i'm up anyway so yeah, yeah. Uh, so, I don't think he really... says doesn't that help sell the fight i think he's talking about the, the back and forth no it, it does but obviously um in this particular um situation it was um bill haney on which is um devin haney's trainer was on live with floyd mayver so yeah, after the fight. There's yeah, nothing exactly. to sell because Floyd hasn't got a fighter to fight Devin. Well, he has in Javante Davis, but it's not. I don't think they were trying to sell that fight. But um, are they are them two even on the right on the on the same page at the moment? I've, I, I know it's Tank. Every time Tank's got a fight coming up, he starts cussing Floyd. So I don't. <laughs> I don't I just, like, it's, it's all a bit weird. They always do that, and then at the end, after the fight, they're hugging. I know it's always weird. <laughs> You're all right, just, you know, just clock. <laughs> I, I watch these mind games. You know? Every time um, he's, he's got a fight, every time Tag's got a fight, he starts cussing, Floyd, I'm going to do this, yeah, I'm going to do that. Yeah. He's done this to me. He's a hater. And then all of a sudden, after straight uh, at the fight, Floyd's at the fight with Leonard. And then Floyd's in the ring, hugging, and they're embracing. Yeah, it's like, right, come on. You know? Yeah, you're right. You know? Floyd probably tells him to write that. Yeah, because even, even um, what Floyd was putting up, Putting up um, little flipping videos of of like tank dancing, where he was trying to say he's like a bit fruity and sugar and st sugary and stuff like that. But yeah, yeah light skin. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Come on, you sit off mind games. I know, I know yeah. them little Jedi moves. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, um, Come on. You see him dancing to um um Ryan's new tune. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, right shoes all right. Do you know what I want to see? I want to see a tune of it be Ryan Garcia, Danny Garcia, Clarissa Shields, all, I, I heard all she, rapping, she, I, and then you got Deontay Wilder on the hook singing I, in the I, chorus. I haven't heard is Clarissa on wax? Yeah. Well, you ain't heard her rap. No. 
Yeah, man, she done heard, a piece I've Danny, for um. I've heard Danny, I've heard um Ryan Garcia, and I've heard um Dion Iwada, but I've never heard Clarissa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's got a diss track for Alicia Baumgartner, man. Oh that's, my that's, days! That's, yeah, it's actually good. Yeah, that was in the chat. Um, have you you might you guys must have heard it, surely? Nah, I've I've, I've not seen that. Oh, where's it's on YouTube. You must you must have seen it, but it was all over. I saw it on I saw it on Twitter. I saw it on Insta. So yeah, yeah, it's just a full video. Proper There's video no such thing as Twitter no more, man. Oh, X. Twitter text, sorry. <laughs> text. Yeah, so um yeah, man, you gotta listen to that. She she can actually rap. Oh, she, she's she from Michigan, fit, yeah. so she can fit. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. yeah. How, who do, who do, how do you rank rank them for just in, in uh musical talent? Rap or rapping, sing, whatever. You might as well put mm. the drones in there as well, man. I'm from now. Roy's old school, man. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, no. Ja- listen, Jarrell Miller, he can rap. Yeah, really. That guy can. To, to be honest, Joshua can rap as well, to be fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he can, but Jarrell Miller's better than him. Though. No way. He is. Even no. Andy Joshua said it. Andy Joshua even admitted it. What? For off that freestyle and sway? No, but he's got other ones as well. Okay. Remember, these from New York. Them guys, yeah, yeah. their thing is yeah, rapping. Right. Like, yeah, they, right. they live this. Yeah, basically the same. In that tune is trash. Which one are you talking about, base? Clarissa. He don't like Clarissa though. Mm. He don't like Clarissa. So he's gonna he's gonna um he's gonna have a bit of bias. <laughs> what is that what he doesn't what, like her as a person or boxing or what? No, as a person. As a fighter he rates her, he rates her highly. But um as a person. But I can understand why she rubs um people up the wrong way. Shout out Shiesty, the five for oh five way. So yeah, what what did you think, Shiesty, as a as a musician as well? What did you think of Clarissa yeah, Shield rap, and how would you rank these artists in order? Because I said I want to see a tune together of Ryan Garcia, Danny Garcia, Jarrell Miller, and then uh, Clarissa Shields, and then Deontay Wilder on the hook singing. Because Deontay Wilder, he's the singer out of them, isn't it? Even though he didn't make part. He's the singer. So how would you rank the four rappers? Danny Garcia, Ryan Garcia, Jarrell Miller, Clarissa Shields. Rank them one to four. Let us know. And basically, you give us your um you give us your list as well on the one to four on the on them guys. Listen, let's listen to the track. It's garbage. The beat is the only good thing about it. Oh, listen, I'm not saying she's gonna be the next Glorilla, or, um, you know, but I thought it was all right. I thought it was all right. It was decent. It was decent. But, yeah, um, yeah, I'd like to see that. But, yeah, now nah, I see Tank dancing to the Danny, uh, to the Ryan Garcia tune. Um, I see Ryan doing some performances in a club as well. Um, he was getting a good, good, um, good reception to it. So, yeah, man, he's, he's, he's got, Oh, here we go. So, Shias has got Jarrell Miller, number one. Yeah, I agree. Carissa Shields, number two. Ryan, number three. Danny, number four. Raw. Danny Garcia, number four, you know, Philly. <laughs> okay, okay. Nah, yeah, but yeah I definitely... that, well, uh, nah, I need to, I need to hear Carissa Shields because people, people in the comments are saying that the, the track is trash. Nah, it's only Bay saying that. Yeah, <laughs> that's people. <laughs> no, nah, that's what, that's a <laughs> Person, that's a person. Right. So, uh, look, Shai's okay. got Carissa number two. She's got Carissa ahead of okay, Ryan has, and Danny. Has she, has she heard the diss track though? Has, have you heard Carissa's track? She must have heard it. Yeah, that's. So I was thinking, I was thinking I'd have put Danny a bit more further up. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought Danny's one was better than Ryan's, in my opinion. Mm. Man, like a buster. I yeah. like Usher. <laughs> like Usher. Yeah, he's not, come on, you can't, you can't stop Danny. Come on, man. Come on, yeah, big baby Danny, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've kind of up, yeah, I'd say I've got, yeah, big baby, I'll go big baby, Danny Garcia. Um, mm. ah. yeah, I, like, I heard the more, that's her, that's her, that's her, that's her ranking, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, right, Danny last. No, I wouldn't put Danny last, I'll put Danny second. I agree with base. The only thing I'll put, um. I'll put Clarissa third and Ryan fourth. But then, oh, 
you said to add Anthony Joshua in. All right, so I put Big Baby one, Danny Garcia two, Anthony Joshua number three, Clarissa Shields for Ryan Garcia number five. That'd be the top five then. But Big, Big Baby definitely number one because he goes in. Danny sounds like he's reading off a of paper. <laughs> well, he wasn't though because you didn't see no paper. There was no sheet in front of him. So he might sound like that, but you know, but rap's good. We've got some UK uh, rap stuff going on. We see Vic Santoro versus, well, it was originally versus the Clue guy. Then all of a sudden he's, he, he got knocked out. He got, he, it's like he got, he's like he got subbed quick time and is um, Vic Santoro versus um, Joe Black. And that one, that's a good battle because Joe Black was going in. He, he, yeah, he was, that last one, he was doing bits. So definitely ratings to that. Are we deep in Shield wordplay? Yeah, I think the wordplay is good. I think the wordplay is good. Yeah, and I need to, I need to listen to this one because um, Shaisky put her number two. Yeah, yeah, no, I'd definitely say um, Clarissa is better than uh, Ryan Garcia, but that, yeah, Danny, Danny, Danny had the flow, but yeah, I say Clarissa's bars were better though. Clarissa's bars was better, but she remember she's made a whole tune. Um, <laughs> Yeah, but, but yeah, it's, it's good. I'd, I'd I'd like to see that a little a little boxing boxing cipher. There must be some other people other people in the game that's done a tune in the boxing game. Who else? Yeah, Pesta. Oh, okay. No, no, have no. you heard any songs? No, he's no, done no, a whole, heard all these songs. Yeah. yeah, he's done two boxing ones. Yeah, uh, Dillian White, Dillian White, or uh, something I forgot. Yeah, it, uh, uh, maximum violence, maximum violence. Yeah, no, but he did one where he did all, he was naming all, uh, like a bunch of boxers on it as well. Yeah. He's got a couple. So, um, who else? What's his name? Ben Whitaker. Oh, yeah, okay. Ben Whitaker. He's got a tune out. Who else is there? He's yeah. got a tune. Um, yeah, Adrian Broner's done a tune. Yeah, Adrian Broner. Yeah, he, he, yeah, he, he, yeah. He's got that, that Migos type thing. He's, he, yeah, he's on that Migos. Broner's done a few tracks. He's all got mixtapes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he had an album. Yeah, he, had a mix he went on. Yeah, he yeah. went on tour. That's how he ended up getting broke up by Madonna. <laughs> <laughs> Roy Jones, yeah, Roy Jones, but Roy Jones old school with it though. He's I wouldn't put him in this new bracket, even though no fight has come out to that. Uh, can't yeah. be rock, can't be stop. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, bloody hell! Saturday night, I think I think I had three fighters come out to that song. <laughs> like, come on, he yeah. said, talk about being original. <laughs> Good grief. Good grief. It's like they heard Fabio Wardley bust it, then then everyone now wants to bust it. Mm. Like, give it a rest, guys. Get original with it. Ray Jones. Benzo is better than most of them. Yeah, yeah. Ben Whitaker's one was good, you know. He's like, because he's a oh, wavy we character. About, we forgot oh. about Coley. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, Lawrence. Yeah, Lawrence. Lawrence, definitely. I swear he's got two tracks. Yeah, he's got two yeah, tracks. They, they're all right, they're standard, man. They're not, they're not dead. Oh, well, we know that I do mummies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys, you guys, yeah, Lawrence, Lawrence is a bad man for that. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. A whole lot of carrots. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He might need to bust that in Saudi. He might need to bust that one in Saudi, you know. Oh. For his excellency. <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one's there. So yeah, there's a few guys. Well, you know what? I'm gonna we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do a, 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 a we're gonna have to do a, a, a proper episode. Is it like a chart? Yeah, we're gonna chart. have to break this down properly. And get a couple musicians. You know what? We've got to get, uh, we might have to actually get Shiesty and Bass in because they're, wow. still, you know, lyricist rappers. So they they have to give us the better expertise, and there'll be that musical side. Uh, might even get Dan Blake in as well. Yeah, we we'll, might have to do an episode on that one. So yeah, that one, that'll be that'll be that'll be a good that'll be a good one. And um, what was you just talking about? Yeah, so. We mentioned that um, Floyd lied he had with Bill. Obviously, the yeah. fight, the fight has gone. Yeah. Ryan, yeah, Ryan Bill, the world. yeah, Bill, <laughs> Bill and Floyd made me laugh. 
yeah, you do something with the streets and, I, and I'll give you some props. And he was like, he was like, um, <laughs> what do you say? He goes, you need Bill? You need some help? I don't need your help. Your, your, your son needed help last night. He's like, your kids need help today. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I, I, see, I, see, I see your kids getting a call up. I'm like, leave them alone. That's maybe with his kids. I'm like, uh, playing. It's like, when it comes to a point, a time in their life, the kids do what they want. Uh, it, was, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was all messy. Yeah, but, but um, that wasn't needed, man. Like, it, that, that wasn't needed. It was that, that was, I didn't like that for the culture as well, man. Yeah. me, I found it. It was entertaining. It, it was. Entertaining. It it was. Too- Uncles arguing at, at the at, at the cookout. It's two yeah. uncles arguing. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, that's, that, 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 that's that's true. You can see you can see it like that. That's true. That's true. So obviously, yeah, you spoke about the upcoming coming fights. Any anything you miss? Any fights you missed out? Um, mm. yeah, I've covered. I've kind of got. I've cover, kind of covered them all. You know. Did you did we speak about the um Terence Crawford? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine I've spoke about that. I see, I see him. Um, I see him winning that. That should be true. That's, friend, that's not easy fight, man. I think he's he's dealt with guys like that before. You know, Mean Machine. Mm. Um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Victor Postel. Uh, Avenish. So he dealt with them tough Eastern European man before. So it's nothing he's seen. He ain't yeah, seen no, before. Seen, I'm just saying, it's just not an easy fight. No, it's not. He's not. A, Steamroller fight, but I see him dealing with him quite comfortably. The winner of um, Tim Zhu and Virgil Ortiz, that's going to be the fight which could get real sticky for Terence because that, that fight between them two, uh, that's the main event to me. How they've got them third on the card, they've got them, they've got Madrimov, Terence Crawford main event. Then I see, I don't know if they're going to change the logistics, but they've got Pitbull, Isak Cruz versus Jose Valenzuela second. I'm like, come on, man. Then they've but, got um, Tim Zhu uh, and... Um, that that fight is an, it's not for a belt, though, is it? Yes, it is. Tim Zhu's a champ. Oh, oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. No, didn't Fondora just take the belt off? Am I bugging? Fondora? Oh, yeah, he did. Oh, my God. What am I talking about? Yeah, he did. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. That's why. So, um... Yeah. So, um, yeah, so... It's funny because Fundora is fighting Spence next, but do you remember Terence tweeted said that oh, you gotta wait in line and Errol said I don't do lines champ. Yeah, yeah. Listen, Errol's just trying to get the last he's on his last year, man. Errol's on his last year. You don't know that for sure though. So if he's on his last year, is Terence on his last year? No. Because Terence lived the life. Errol don't live the life. Mm. But he he didn't live the life. But I think from the car crash, he's I think he did try and live the life. Oh, don't, don't. I've still seen him drunk quite a few times after mm. that. Still mm. seen him drunk quite a few. But now Terence, Terence has probably got eighteen months before the decline because you know the training camps, the age. But Errol, he could probably you know he could if he does it correctly, he probably could be a free weight world champ, win this, jump up by um either Ericsson Lubin. Or um, uh, is it Erislandi Andy Lara, the old guy? He could beat him too at middleweight, and then and then chip out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I think that that if he, if he plays it smart, he could he could do he could be a free world world champion, Errol. But I don't think he he ain't got yeah, any champion. My, my hamster's listening about. Damn, Blake. Yeah, I was saying that I've got to get you on with Shiesty and Base the Kid. We've got. I'll let you know more about it. There's a little special, little funny, little not well, funny, but a, a light-hearted, good little episode. I think we can we can all do between each other. Big up, big Bobster. But yeah, they're uh... you okay. Mm, um, that's what they got me okay. burning the house down. Look, hmm. who's burning the house? And I said, look, this is what they got me buying in the house. Oh, jo- Joyce's jerk, Soho. Big up. No, I can't see you. Oh, you can't. You're not on my screen. You're actually, it's just got me on the screen for some reason. Uh, everyone, can you see both of us? Let us know. Because <coughs> at least that way, when I upload it, it'll be both of us. It might just be a little fault on my phone. Crawford versus yeah. 
Bank on Matrim. No, that's not happening. Eubank is a um, free agent, though, he said. Yeah, what's going on, what's going on with that? It's because... I don't know what's going on with that. I thought he, I thought he was going to be fighting... Um, fighting um, Terence Crawford. Um, well, I guess that didn't come to fruition. No, but he can't, there's no point because he ain't got there's nothing to fight for terence ain't gonna fight for nothing at this stage of his career mm. could, could have been a big money fight could have been some money there not not enough for terence man terence has got bigger fish to fry mm. okay big pop for base up okay, you see us both that's good that's good um because i, I want to see you bank i was, I was... <laughs> trying to mug it trying to mug it no no i i showed my hamster oh you've got a hamster oh i thought you were talking about me (laughs) (laughs) my son's hamster but yeah okay that's why i thought you could see it no i I said i said i could see me i don't know what was it's my phone that's what i was saying see what they got me buying in the house okay okay but um yeah um I think what else is coming up, but yeah, man. Look, um, you're gonna be going to the um, you're gonna be going to the um, uh, Palace show. We're assuming. Yeah, I'm gonna be at the Palace show on June the fifteenth. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna be at the Felix Cash Tyler Delhi show, June twenty second at the World Resorts Arena in Birmingham, and obviously I'm gonna be at uh, the June the first card in Riyadh, five versus five before Baturbiev. Yeah. Um, and five, five for five as well. Did you mention that? Yeah, yeah. That's what I said. June the first, five versus five before Baturbiev. Yeah. If you got, if you got winning that. Oh, uh, I've Eddie and Frank. Mm. <clears throat> I've got, I've got it. Well. It depends how, because remember, there's knockouts and extra points and this and that team captain. But as far as fights go, I've, I've got it um, three two to to um, Queensbury in fights. You got you got Queensbury in. Yeah, three two. Yeah. Mm. So uh, let me let me see. Try and guess. Since you said three two, I'm guessing. You've got Craig Richards beating Willie Hutchinson. Absolutely. You've got Zhang beating Wilder. No. Okay. Okay, that's wrong. You've got the bar beating Hergovich. Yes. You've got Nick Ball beating uh I forgot his name now. Ray Ford. About. Ray Ford. Yeah. And you've got Hamza. No, you 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 got Hamza beating Emma Williams. Yeah. <clears throat> yep. I've got yeah. Yeah. So I've got it. I've got Wilder. No. Well, let me go from the lightest weight up. So I've got Nick Ball, Hamza, Craig Richards, Daniel Dubois. Uh, Wilder, yeah. But so, but then, that, if that's the case, then it'll be a draw. Or well, am I mistaken? No, it's three two to Queensbury. But depending if if, you if, know, they, if it goes that way, it'll be a draw because the captain gets two points. Or am I talking bollocks? Oh yeah, the captain gets double points. But then also remember, it's, it's an extra point for knockout. So, say for instance, um, oh, yeah, Nickel, so, yeah. Hamza, yeah, yeah, yeah. and Dubois win on points, but then uh, Craig Wilder ice their guys, then yeah, it's, <clears throat> so the Matrim will win. I think Matrim will probably end up winning overall because I expect Craig to um, take out Willie Hutchinson and, and Wilder's only way to victory is knockouts, really. And I think um, he will have to just get Thingy Zhang to get, go slow, lose his energy, and then knock him out. Yes, I will be good. Going, Jade, Angela, Jaden, Angela. Are you going? Would you be there? Because we will. 
Yes, we will be there. We will be there. Um, yeah, man. Yeah, my June schedule. So yeah, it's a big June schedule then. So the first, fifteenth, and twenty second. Yeah, you can catch me at shows. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely be at the fifteenth on the first. Where's the twenty second? In Birmingham. Birmingham. Mm-hmm. Ain't gonna. Hmm. Oh, she said she, oh, she said she really wants to. Let's make it happen. We got Corbin. Corbin captures. One of my model bedrooms. Okay. And shout out Asan Betobi as well. And Havoc's Kennel. Yeah, man. But yeah, so, yeah. If you haven't already, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, subscribe to um the Neutral Corner podcast. Um it will soon be launching on all platforms like Spotify and Apple Music, just in the works of doing that at the moment. And um, yeah, man, just um, keep following our journey. And TikTok you know. as well. Yeah, TikTok as well. And yeah. Facebook. Yeah, the Facebook's not really active though, but TikTok, um, Instagram, obviously. Hey, and, yo, uh, pause. <laughs> <laughs> No, Diddy. <laughs> I didn't even. Man, taking that Willy. <laughs> Listen, Boston, the most honourable Elijah yo, Muhammad would not condone yo, that's such wild, a thing. Yo. That's wild. You got to strike, yo. The you got to... most honourable Elijah that's Muhammad wild, would not yo. condone such a thing. <laughs> Tell him what you mean by that, man. Listen, I'm not. Listen, that came out wrong. <laughs> he's gonna take out. He's gonna. He's gonna knock out Hutchinson. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> that's, what, that's what I you're, mean. You're on yeah, pause you, alert. You're on pause yeah. alert from now on. <laughs> yeah, you got. You got me there. You got me there. You got me there. Wait, you Yeah. Hey, I, I heard you out in yeah, LA, right? What? I was about to say, I heard you in all the Diddy parties. Holly, I heard that's how you Hollywood party Hills. Now, bro. Hollywood Hills. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Tell, tell, tell us what you see in that, man. Yeah, I, th- I, I heard you, you asking a man why... I, I, I heard him asking a man... No more, so I know they're in a different realm, you know, in a different realm. Come on. I heard him asking a man on a bike the other day, why is your back so broad? I was like, what, 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 yo, what, what, what that? Yo, yo, oh, Good grief. Yo, he said, is that what you're doing now, Reese? You're asking, man, why is their back so broad? <laughs> Gee, yo, pause. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> yo. <laughs> no Diddy. No Diddy at air, B. Come on, man. But yeah, well, man. Yeah, like yeah man. Said, follow us on Catch us on all the platforms. Um, I've, got a, I've got a run now. Do a couple errands. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, thank you. For all tapping in, guys, much appreciated, and um, yeah, I'll do this. I'll do this again sometime. I think yeah, we we'll get, get better engagement in. on the Insta thing for some reason. Um, We're trying to get the engagement over on the YouTube, but that is probably also down to our thought. We need to put more content out. Yeah, but that will be um, that will be in the works very soon. But for now, it's another speech on the. Uh, it's another episode <laughs> word on the canvas boxing talk with the fight fans it's danny glover it's, it's big neck yeah. and there you go and remember persistence beats resistance hey wait wait, wait. <laughs> that's when i got a bed now <laughs> hey shout out you man hey cool in a bit then in a bit what's up <laughs>